Hi, this is Fiat, and this video is called Picking a Fit, the Single by Choice Edition. Okay, so you all have to excuse me. I'm having a bad hair day, and I'm also very tired. I've been getting up at between 4.45 and 5 o'clock to meditate and exercise, so I'm a bit tired, and I also work today, which is Saturday, to work some OT. But, so, okay, a few months ago, I announced that I'm single and embracing it, and soon after that, I met someone, and I really, really, really thought she was going to be the one. I mean, like, really, really going to be the one, but it could be that I wanted her to be the one because I was tired of picking the wrong ones, you know? You know, we can psych our mind out to believe whatever we wanted to believe, that's why it's imperative to exercise your mind because it all starts there but anyway what happens more often than not is that we're afraid to ask for what we want so instead we settle we don't ask because we don't want to deal with the consequences so like for me i stayed living a lie and live staying in my marriage because i thought that the um the thought of breaking up my home and separating my daughter from her father because she's such a daddy's girl I thought that was unbearable and the thought of being in a one-income household was unbearable and the thought of divorce proceedings and child support all of that was unbearable until my spirit was just like look so enough is enough okay so this really happened I sat straight up out of my bed one night and out of my sleep and I was just like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm leaving. S straight up. St sat straight up out of my sleep. Uh, my ex-hubby and I were already sleeping in different rooms at the time. So the very next day, I went and said to him, I'm leaving. So he had heard this like a gazillion times before. And like the other times, he blew me off. And he even chuckled about it and was just like, yeah, whatever. But I was dead serious this time. And I did leave, finally. And guess what? I made it. I survived I'm still alive the world didn't end none of that all those years I had let fear hold me back and all that changed when I decided to stop making excuses and get to free free from guilt free from the lies free from other people's expectations and burdens just free now two and a half years later I'm able to articulate my ideal mate. I wasn't entirely able to do so before, but I've come across enough of what I don't want to better narrow down to what I do want. So I won't include um, an exhaustive list in this video, but I do want a woman who is confident who has her own things going on, who's ambitious, has goals, that's motivated, mentally stimulating, um, can hold intelligible conversations, intelligible is the key word, is loyal, understanding, and loving. And um, since I now believe that I am enough, what that means is in the past, a few of the, the studs that I dated felt that I wasn't feminine enough. I wasn't girly enough so I want someone who will accept me for me because no I do not place a label on myself and no I am not extremely feminine but I'm not butch either so I'm like in the middle so whoever comes into my life next will have to accept that because I'm not trying to change anyone else if you come into my life and that's how you are that's just how you are I either like it or I don't so just like with goals, it's best that we write them down so that we can physically see them, you know, like a vision board. So I will write down what my ideal partner embodies so that it's clear to me when she arrives and even when she hasn't arrived. If it isn't healthy and beneficial, it's not a fit. Don't stop until you get there. Bye.